so hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you another project uh, which is called online garments deal or you can say the cloth shop online so how can you deal or you can convert this project into the online shopping project also so this is the front view uh, before I start the demo of the project how the functionality is working let's uh, talk a little bit about the technology so as uh, our all project we are using the similar technologies servlets jsps and to <coughs> manage the F uh, dependencies and api we are using maven tool and as an architecture we are using the mbc architecture which is completely followed by the controller model in the view part so we are managing the view part here and jsp css and some code of javascript and all and uh, according to the requirement as a controller we are using the servlet controllers here and uh, the model package is also there to manage the database infection if we talk about the backend so we are uh, using mysql as a backend and to upload the uh, mysql operation we are using a uh, mysql workbench which is really easy and handy to operate so at the backend it's mysql server is running and uh, we are using this gui to perform the mysql operation so if we, if i talk about the database there is a i think one two three four five tables are there first one is a customer so whatever the customer coming on the website and they are booking some product the data is storing here and uh, <coughs> the login details so there are three types of users in the application which are going to be login in future so the first one will be the admin so admin can perform his operation according to his authority and similarly there is uh, some manager who is uh, you you can say the store manager or the shop manager who can perform the activity like according to his uh, action and uh, the customer at the end the customer so customer is going to buy a product or something is so he's going to register in the application he will uh, view the uh, he will he he can check the booked history or some transaction details so you can see the role id one two three so so the role id one will be always for the admin uh, two will be for the manager and three will be for the customer and the next table is a manager so whatever the manager is going to perform the activity so manager detail art will be there and the payments so here you can see the history of payment so the customer name and whatever the customer is going to be pay the all the details and record will be stored here and the main table the key backbone of the application is a product so the product table is here so it's a storing the table in the data in the different different format like id product name product quantity product choice item image and all the things so let's execute the project and check the demo one by one so if as i told like there is a three main user of the application or actor of the application so we'll see one by one so how what the admin can perform what the uh, manager can perform what the user can perform so you can see this is the front view of the application header part body part and all so which, if, if, if i talk about the product so right now there is a two product so in the product list as a customer if you visit the application uh, project and you can see the project list here when i click on the book so there is a detail all the prices on all so for booking or to order the product you must need to be login in the application but right now as i uh, i'm not logging in the application so i need to enter the detail here and once i enter the detail and uh, click on the save or uh, next button so it will uh, proceed for the booking process so just go one by one and just check the login operation first so if i talk about, talk about the admin so in the login table i can check the admin uh, login id is admin123 and the password is also admin123 it's already saved in my browser so you can see here the admin is logging successfully as a admin it's using admin can uh, add a manager in the application so if i talk about the <coughs> admin can add another admin admin can a manager so if i talk select here the manager and the name new manager and the password one two three four now and uh, one two three sorry it's confirm password no this field is login id so i can say manager new manager new manager one two three 
and the password is one two three. Again, password is one two three. MG at the rate gmail dot com is an email and some valid phone number and the address. When I click on the save, I um, must uh, have at least six character. Okay, sorry, there is some validation. So I enter my password. It's more than six digit. And when I click on the save, the data is saved successfully. And the admin can add a product. So if I talk about the new product, so he need to insert the item code. Let's check the uh, database first. I just need uh, just enter a manager, new manager here. So as that entry is there, so you can see the login ID is one two three. Man at the rate one two three is a password. Okay, here is the entry in the fifth uh, fifth index. You can check the new manager at the rate will be at the rate one two three is a password and the creation date and the role ID automatically generated two because it's a manager. <clears throat> so let's check how can admin add a product in the application. So product ID for example is D123 the product name new pro and the quantity quantity is like whatever the quantity available uh, for this product so like 34 and the product choice you can say some choice or some you can say some some message if you want to say so I enter um, a description and the product price so I will $34 and choose an image for that product so right now i'm adding some dummy image hope so i hope i have okay i'm going to add this image right now here it be this is the product okay this is the product and i click on the save you can see data is saved successfully and i check the database here the product list here so this is the product newly valid so admin can edit the product admin can delete the product if i edit this product so whenever you are going to edit the project just make sure you are going to upload an image again so like here i'm entering 340 i'm going to change the price of the project i guess yes that's price product quantity sorry so the quantity will be same let me change the price so i'm gonna uh, enter price this time is a two fifty dollar and I need to choose the image again. So I go in here and I choose another image, so same image. And product is updated successfully. So this is all about the updated functionality. If I want to delete the uh, product before delete, just check the entry in the database. Just switch to the product and you can see the new pro with a thirty four quantity in the description and all the things are there and uh, if i want to delete this project i can easily delete this it's gone so admin can manage the customers whatever the customer is coming in the application so he can check the record here and uh, the payment or the customer is going to make some payment to buy a product so we can check the list here as admin booking list whatever the product in in book list so we can check this and if i log out to, as a manage uh, as admin and let's see some functionalities about the manager so manager also have some responsibility and uh, manager is also going to cover some functionalities of the application let me enter the id password and switch to the manager so manager can perform add product he can check the products he can check the customer list he can the payments and book list admin uh, manager can't add any manager it's can't add any admin that authority only have to the admins so this is the similar uh, working so if i'm going to show you this again how the edit is working how the edit is working it will be best of time so uh, you will uh, consider is the same that as in, in the same way as we perform in the admin it's working similarly so this is the functionalities from the manager section and if we log out in the application and let's log in as a some existing customer so for example i have customer like customer one customer one two three and the password is one two three i mean log in with this so customer only can view the products available products in the in the in the, in the application and the database and you can check the book list so whatever the product is going to be booked let's book a new project as a new customer 
so I just log out in the application I go in this product and I need to enter some obviously I need to enter some data here so like my data is would be be in the password is would be at the rate one two three and uh, sorry it's the email ID I guess it's login ID so I'm gonna enter would be one two three and uh, at the rate one two three the password and again and the edge and the contact number address so when I click on the save let's switch to the next process add a payment detail the card holder name detail and the card number so I enter some dummy card number so this is the only dummy data we are not using any kind of real-time payment so it's only showing to you like uh, how the things are working so if I enter 2025 and CCV is 34 and uh, payment so the payment is successfully the data is stored in the lo local database so if I switch to database and check the customers so you can see if we buy some product and it's updated in the payment list also so here you got the new payment from 1500 something dollar by the login id would be one two three if i check the customer detail so you can see here also the new data is entered and uh, <coughs> in the login also the new entry is here so all the tables are linked to each other and the data is updating everywhere so if next time after the payment the user want to log in and want to check the detail so we'll be at the red one two three will be the password he can log in in the application and he can check the book list so this project and that is list so thank you so much for watching uh, if you want this source code uh, so just uh, check the description box we will provide the link in the description box for the code1.com so from the code1.com you can easily take the project it's at the minimum cost uh, like for the college students and a student who want to learn who want to see the uh, how the real time project is built in the application so the price is 8 for this project will be the 800 INR and you can uh, easily pay by the easy payment uh, easy payment some local payment and uh, you can contact me uh, by that uh, contact list like if I talk about how how can you get this source code so uh, we'll find you will find uh, if uh, in the code1.com you just switch to the project and like for example this is my some old project so like this you can check the complete detail of this project also link will be in the description and the project price and you can mail me over this email id jcode1 at the red gmail.com or you can ping me over the skype also so within a one hour or 30 minutes will respond you and uh, will give you the source code access to your G, uh, google drive and we have a step by step configuration tutorial also if i talk about the configuration so let's switch to the this tutorial we have for the configuration which contains five videos the first uh, from the first step to the last step if i talk about the like you can see here the java project java web project uh, configuration that the first link we have how can we set up java in our machine so this is the tutorial one and the manual step is also there the tutorial will be you need to install eclipse or some ide in your machine so this is the second tutorial and the third how to configure the database mysql and things this is the third tutorial and the finally now uh, the um, java web project configuration how can you import that project inside your id or how can you uh, import the database in your database and the server last part of the application how can you run that application how can you deploy that application at the local host and uh, <coughs> so uh, 
that's it if you need just ping me over the email id jcode1 at gmail.com uh, within one hour we provide that support in case after following this uh, configuration tutorial uh, you stuck somewhere or you get some extra uh, uh, some extra errors there you are not able to run that project you can ping me over the skype or somewhere so we'll help you to remotely will help you to um, configure that project we'll guarantee about this our product like we will run it at your machine so thank you so much for watching